right, everybody, we back at it. The randomness of projects that need to be done. We got a Goodman furnace. Goodman's furnace, they say the furnace is cutting on. Flame is cutting on, running, not heating up already, all the way. Give it some heat, but it's cutting off. It's, the furnace will still be cycling, then it'll cut back on. Then it'll cut off. That is the symptoms of a flame sensor. What's a flame sensor you add? Random little guy right here. That's what this is. Okay. Where's the flame sensor located? I'll show you where it's located. Right inside here. It's got one wire that goes to it. That little joker right there. Easy fix. Pop it out. Okay. You pop it out. You unplug it. Bam. You take your new one, like so, and you plug it in. You know? Now, do not try this at home. And the first thing you want to do, the first thing you want to do is make sure your furnace is cut off at the thermostat and at the switch to the furnace. Cut all the power off. Be safe. Take it back. Take it. Install it back in place. Okay. I'm going to make it happen. You try to keep your hand off of it as much as possible. Because you don't want the greases up from your hand getting on to the actual switch. Okay. We get to screw that down. We get that in place like so. Bam. Told you it's going to be a short video, man. Why? Because it's easy, baby. That's what we do. You know? Then we take the screw. Put the screw back in place. Oh. You can start it with your hand. And finish it with your screwdriver. Finish it with your screwdriver. And the best thing to do is to have a nut driver. My man, that gets it done, chief. I get it done. It's right here. That actually can be irritating. You know? We'll have your small, your small handheld screwdriver, you know, but in everything that you think is simple, might not be. There we go. Get that screw started right and tight. There we go. My man. Yeah, it's always best to consult a professional before you just randomly take on one of these projects, man. You know. Or refer to YouTube. My man. There you go. Now it's back in place. Now we turn it on. Turn your switch back on. Turn your safety switch back on. Boop. Then you turn your thermostat back on and should be good to go that's how you change your flame sensor easy peasy you know what i'm saying check us out on the next video all right